What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, first of all, uh, before I show the phone and everything, I will talk a little bit about why I don't make many smartphone, new smartphone in my collection videos. Because the reason why is because I just don't get phones that fast. Like, I don't get daily phones like Div99YT does. And it's especially hard now since the uh, thrift stores are closed due to Corona. They will open up in uh, like, I think a week and I swear I'm going to go to that store directly. <laughs> don't don't, don't uh, worry guys. Uh, it's especially hard to get oh, stupid kids outside. It's even harder to get an, uh, new phones and stuff like that. And if they have phones, they most of the time have really boring Nokia's that are like super boring and similar to the ones I already have. Um, or they have the same one, etc, etc. Um, don't work or don't have a battery for it. I mean, sometimes I do buy ones that don't have battery because maybe they're rare or something. Or like the first brand. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate those kids from the neighbors. Uh, ignore those stupid kids from outside. Today, oh my fucking God, I'm gonna pause. And on the tiny little heater, so maybe that will go over the stupid screaming noise of those horrendous kids. But now I'm gonna show the phone that I got today new from my grandma. Uh, she watches my videos, like I'm not kidding. I mean, I have the best grandma ever. Like she literally watches my YouTube videos, like all of them. The only thing she does with YouTube is just watch my videos. And some classical music. So here is her old phone. It's a really old one. It's a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. It's nine years old. And she bought it when it was already obsolete. Um, this is the third case from this phone. Before that she had a weird red case I think. And before that she had a uh, one that flipped from the um, that flipped like this. Not from the side but from top to bottom. Uh, that was uh, black. It looked a lot similar like my LG G2 Mini's official original case. But I think I actually threw that one away. Um, so yeah, this is the third case she used. She has used quite a lot of cases. But the uh, all of the, the, the red one and this case are both not meant for this phone. So as you can see, it has this hole here. And the headphone jacks at the top. And yeah, the top is completely unexposed. Um, specs we're going to do in a minute. I went to look at the specs, but it looks like my Huawei P20 Lite is completely out of battery. 1%. I did connect it to my fast charging power bank, which can handle like 3 watts or something. And the Huawei P20 Lite has 18 watts fast charging. So, specs in a minute. I'm sorry for that. I forgot to charge that phone. Um, I really love my Huawei P20 Lite, by the way. Probably gonna do a ringtone video on it. It's still in real good shape, apart from the case, case that scuffs pretty darn fast. But I just throw it in a bag with lots of phones and cables in it and they have metal, etc, etc. The glass bag is in brand new condition, uh, apart from one scratch. But lots of people say, have to complain about this phone that it's that the back glass is real weak. So yeah. Anyways, back to the Grand Prime. This, um, as you can see, the case is pretty uh, cool looking. Opening it up, it is cracked, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really badly cracked. Uh, it was all my. Uh, it was my grandma's accident. I mean, it looks horrendous. You can see she really needed a new phone. If you want, by the way, if you want to know what phone she uses now, she uses a Samsung Galaxy A12, which is a really cool looking phone. She has the black one with um, four gig gigs of RAM and one twenty eight gigabytes of storage. And the reason why she chose the biggest um, storage uh, version is uh, we'll talk about about that in a minute. But yeah, 128 gigs, man. That's a proper phone. Took a look at it. It's a real good phone. She has a black version with a real cool uh, red on uh, a case with the red on the back and black at the front. Um, so yeah, it's actually a pretty interesting phone. Like the back is made of like soft plastic, like matte soft plastic instead of the crappy polycarbonate, which is much better than the stupid polycarbonate. Um, so yeah. Here is the phone. I think it's actually a Core Prime case. And the reason why I think that is because, I mean, the Core Prime was super successful. I mean, I'm not sure how successful it was in the Netherlands. But this phone, along with its uh, little brother, the Core Prime, was really successful. This phone was mostly um, sold for its selfie camera. I don't know why, because it's just a 5 megapixel unit. I mean, 5 megapixels isn't bad. For example, the Gal Samsung Galaxy A10 also has a 5 megapixel front facing camera. But that is a super over, uh, overly expensive phone. It has horrendous value for money. But yeah, even my $150 phone that I'm recording with has a 8 megapixel camera. So by now, it's not really that big of a feature anymore. Uh, FaceTiming her, yes, I did face... Uh, I, I obviously... Um, 
video called her a lot since the pandemic and a phone with a decent selfie camera is going to be great for that. By the way, we'll do a camera test tomorrow just to see what it can do. Um, would be great because yeah, that, that selfie camera is going to, selfie camera is going to come in handy in such a pandemic like this. So yeah, um, let's take it out of its case. On the front, you got your normal home button and your Samsung soft keys. You got the screen, which lets you show the cracks. The impact is just right here. Uh, there are cracks up here. It has gotten even worse. It, there, there's cracks going like this, and there you have two, I think two, yes, two really nasty ones that just go across here. Get a closer look at that. There you go. I mean, it's you can kind of cut yourself, especially with a stupid sore crappy skin that I have already. Don't worry, it's because I've worked a lot with abrasives lately, lately and my skin just doesn't want to heal. Um, but it's, I don't know what to compare it to. I mean, it's not Gorilla Glass, since, how do you know if it's Gorilla Glass? Well, this is a super cracked phone with Gorilla Glass. As you can see, the panel is much flatter. Like, th if this wasn't Gorilla Glass, I mean, it would be fucking dead. That's for sure. Stupid computer thing. There you go. Um, yeah, comparing it, I mean, some will say that it looks worse on this, but to be really honest, let me just get the fingerprints off. This is a Galaxy A3 2016, by the way. I mean, it's a real slick phone, but it's just really slow. Some people will say that this looks worse, but I can't feel the cracks. Like, I can barely feel them. Only at the top you can kind of cut yourself, but that's normal. This is a non-gorilla glass. I can feel the cracks, and especially right here, you may actually be able to cut yourself. So that's how much better gorilla glass is. And this is gorilla glass first generation. So it's not even that new. See how much better than is, that is than the crappy glass they used on this? By the way, is it scratched up? This phone has had a really long life. Oh, cleaning it with the wrong... Never, re never clean phone screen with this rip, rib, uh, rip stuff, whatever. Stupid shirt I'm wearing, I know. Holy cow! That is a super good condition screen, apart from the cracks. Uh, you know what? I'm probably just going to buy a new screen for it. Because they're like 15 bucks on AliExpress. Maybe 10 bucks. Don't know how cheap I can get in. Yeah, wow, that looks like an incredible screen. It looks super good. Um, not, I can't say the same about the LCD, sadly. Uh, not that it's smashed or anything. So, yeah. Um, I'll just shut off the phone and then reboot it for y'all. So, uh, my grandma had this phone from 2015 onwards. So, she's had this phone for s seven years. Wow. I just noticed that she's had this phone for seven years. Wait a minute. Is it even possible to carry a phone with you for seven years without scratching the screen? I'm gonna freaking. Fr um, oh my goodness. Thank you, Grandma, for taking that much care of your phone. My phone is almost two years old and is so scratched that I'm not even. If, if, if my phone cracks. If I drop it once more, it will crack. And if it does, I'm not even going to be sad or anything. I know it's going to happen sometime. But it's not Gorilla Glass either. So, here's the phone. I'm just going to turn it on for y'all. Um, unfortunately, battery life is really bad. But that's to be expected. This phone was bought two years after its release, I think. Um, I can't really look that up because of my Huawei P20 Lite being dead. It is um, Android 5.0.2. I think it has never really um, gotten an update. I did check for updates. The main issue she had with this for a really, really long time is the storage. And it's only 8 gigabytes. Absolutely ridiculous. That Now she has 128. Isn't that... I mean, that difference is huge. Taking it out of the case, condition-wise, it's pretty good. But the reason why these sites are so scuffed up is because... Well, they've been exposed in every single case she's had. Uh, the reason why is because this case is just not meant for it. The speakers, uh, the speaker is uh, mounted the wrong way. I'm not even, I'm not even sure what it's for. I, it must be for the core prime or something like that. This is still her wallpaper with some contacts on them, um, including my brother and stuff like that. Yes, it's not, it's not been reset. This is literally how my grandma uses it, used it. Uh, yeah, it's, it has smart switch on it. Those two apps are from me. Yes, she did use C Cleaner. I did did put Greenify on her uh, on it for her. For uh, it didn't have one gigabyte free. It only had 500, 500 megabytes free when I got this phone. So yeah, that's a CPU usage, by the way. Yeah. So uh, that's the phone. It's cosmetically in pretty okay shape, but it's just that yeah, that, this is normal. I'm not gonna blame her for this. My Galaxy Tab S has this issue. 
as well, but it seems to be slightly less bad. I mean, it's a pretty worn phone, apart from the back, which looks really, well, really good, I want to say, but it looks, well, it's just, just good. It, it has some nicks on them. So, still have to clean this phone. Oh, yeah, Samsung Galaxy apps you want to install because nobody cares about you because you have to buy it and it doesn't matter. The old logo is better than a new one, in my opinion. The new one is like a freaking Instagram ripoff. So, as you can see, uh, this is a little bit of a different mo model. Jesus, it's lagging like crazy. Software update, uh, update I've already tra uh, checked. It's the SMG530 FZ. It's not the 530F, it's the Z model. So it's a little bit weird. It's not the value edition, like the super crappy, horrendous value edition. That one had a absolutely atrocious pre Spectrum CPU. This one has a Snapdragon, along with a Mali 400. Yeah, value. I think this model is a little bit better. Uh, but the main problem was the 8 gigs of storage. I mean, she had, even with WhatsApp removed, and there's there are like a couple apps on here, it's full. Like, it's, it's even the Galaxy S2 has more storage. Like, I'm gonna scream if I open up GSM Arena on my Huawei P20, and actually it, it's at 10%, so I'm gonna turn it on now, and see that it came with, like, no 16 gig option, no 32 gig. I mean, she does have an SD card in here. Just open up the back. Micro SD 8 gigs, um, but she can't. She can't like put all of her photos on there for some reason. Yes, this thing has never been reset, so yeah, I do need to reset it. Um, gonna buy a new screen, probably. Not totally sure if I'm gonna do that. Um, does she have a separate memo app? No, that's just a really old icon. And Galaxy app is just updated. Great, stupid Galaxy store. Anyways. Um, the phone has a pretty worn out battery, but I, it's, it's better than the Galaxy S5, but yeah, the Galaxy S5 has so bad battery life that I don't even think it's safe to carry that thing around with you. Oh, my stupid Huawei P20 Lite, I should have charged you. Gonna, gonna search up the, uh, why do I have icon for it? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go to GC Marina and look up the specs for y'all. So yeah, that's the... Grand Prime, I guess. Um, I've never had this phone, um, but it's actually a pretty boring one. By the way, you see that lock screen effect? I modified that for her a really long time ago. When I went to stay um, at her house for a little while, I modified this because I thought the little ripple effect was boring, and she kept it. She liked it. Oh, man, so many memories with this phone. I've never seen her use a different phone than this. I mean, I freaking love my grandma. She's so nice. And uh, now I just have to get my grandpa's phone. No, just kidding. She, uh, my grandpa, surprisingly, my grandpa actually has a better phone than this. He has a Galaxy S5 Neo. But I don't need, uh, I mean, if I get the S5 Neo, I have every S5 model in my collection. Did you know that? I already have the normal S5, a golden one with the, the S2 case, a S5 Mini in white. Uh, I only don't have a battery for that thing, but I'm, I'm going to solder something together for that phone. Um, and now I just need a Neo, and I think that's it. I mean, you also have, I think, the S5 Plus. Yes. Oh, crap. I don't have every model then. Because you also have the S5 Plus, I think. And you also have, like, a super wacky, boring, stupid S5 X cover thing, or whatever it's called. Snap-on cover thing with, like, the rugged design and crap like that. They also made an S6 version of that, which, uh, and an S7 version as well. Active. There we go. S5 Active. And a S5 Sport as well, which is a real weird one. Yeah, they have lots of S5s. I mean, the S5 was probably one of my mo one of the most favorite Galaxy phones in my opinion. I mean, I hated it when I uh, saw it because the the black version is so ugly. But apart from that, I mean, it's a super quick phone still. Um, so. You have Android 4.4 KitKat on it, um, upgradable to 5.0.2 or 5.1.1. Let's see, this one runs 5.0.2, so let's check the software update and see if we can update. The phone is pretty darn quick, especially after like wiping the cage and stuff like that. But I would definitely custom run this, so, because I saw a guy putting this on... Um, what's it called? Um... Another channel that had a Grand Prime as well, and he put it... Oh, it's the last one, okay. And he put it like, um... Lineage OS 17 or something on there. And it, it, he, it became his favorite phone. I mean, it was so smooth, he said. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna put Lineage on this as well. Or maybe a different ROM. Um, when I'm gonna do that, not sure. 
so let's just go back to the Play Store again. Um, and I'll download CPU-Z. Or just got a message here. Only thing she, is, she has ever searched up are CPU-Z and Smart Switch. Both of them are not from her. She has never used the Play Store. Well, never. She's probably opened it, but never used it really. I installed CPU-Z on this a long time ago. Just to see the specs. Just to see, differentiate it from the crappy value edition. Uh, Adreno 306 GPU. I don't know why I'm starting with that. Uh, Spreader SC3377 value edition. Um, the value edition has a quad core 1.3 gigahertz, but it's Cortex A7. And the normal one has a quad core 1.2 gigahertz, but Cortex A53, which is weird because that's a pretty new architecture, I guess. I mean, now we have Cortex, I think X, and Cortex A73. Um, Ica 8 Snapdragon 410, um, 1.19 gigahertz, you should ignore that. Um, Adreno 306, 400 megahertz, which is meh. Um, I mean, it's nice that I have a Snapdragon 400, uh, 410 device that actually worked, because I do have the Motorola G3, um, which has a Snapdragon 410 as well, and also 1 gig of RAM and also 8 uh, gigs of storage, but it has a smashed display. Um, but it has a higher high resolution than this and it has a better camera. So yeah, it's really what you wanted This one has a lower resolution display than the G3 540p instead of 720p a lower resolution camera 8 megapixels instead of 13 don't know about the front It probably has a better front-facing camera um, The G3 has front firing speakers. This one has a crappy uh, back firing one Yeah, that doesn't sound that good but apart from that, this is actually really similar to the G3. But the G3 is a little bit more value and a little bit... It's a year newer, like two years newer. So it was actually released 2014, September 30th. Released in October. TFT, 5-inch display. Nice and big. Unlike the uh, Motorola G3, which is like... Oh no, that one actually has 5.1 inches. Um, but yeah, it's, it's smaller than the G3 and less pixel dense. So yeah, G3 is better than this. But I don't know why I'm comparing this to the G3. I mean, there are lots of phones out there like this. For example, the LG G2 Mini, which is an even cheaper phone with a smaller 4.7 inch screen. So better um, screen density on that. Um, but yeah, it's just TFT. It's no IPS. No IPS goodness like on my current phone. Um, 220 pixel density. Oh, that's pretty darn bad. Um, yeah, only the F model, like a G G five thirty one F model, can upgrade to five to one to one. Um, I'm probably gonna download this to four to four KitKat since I don't have any phone nor a tablet that has Android four to four KitKat uh, with the Samsung Touch with flavor on top of it. Uh, so yeah, it will be cool. Yeah, my gag step E, but that thing is broken. Um, only eight gigs and one gig of RAM. Why did this phone sell? 54 million units. I almost want to say thousand, but sadly it's not. <laughs> it doesn't have OTG. Uh, NFC is only for the G530F and FZ models, and this one does have that, obviously. 2600 milliamp hour battery, so it does have a slightly bigger battery than my LG G2 Mini, but my G2 Mini has a much better life because it's more battery saving, plus has a smaller screen. Um, it is 4G, at least this model is 4G and it's just grey color. Can film in 1080p, 8 megapixel camera on the back. As I said, 5 inch screen, 540p. 1 gig of RAM, Snapdragon 410. And glass front, plastic frame, blah blah blah. Um, don't know why they made a stupid value edition. Um, EMC 4.5 storage, weird ads popping up for some reason. Uh, 5 megapixel selfie camera with a higher aperture than the main camera. The lower the better. 2.4 on the main camera, 2.2 on the selfie camera. You know what? I'm going to take a selfie real quick. So, um, Just your random normal shit. It's a pretty okay phone, but they made the Plus version about a year later. And it's, it's wacky. It's a weird one. I mean, the gold version of this phone looks pretty good. It's just a little bit of a boring version, but I don't care. It's a pretty cool phone, and it actually looks a lot like my, um, what's it called? Nothing beats the beautiful design of my P20 Lite. Um, it actually looks slightly like my, um, what's it called? Jesus Christ. Galaxy Tab S, which is my main tablet. Jesus, why did I forget that name? I use that tablet, like, daily. Anyways, 
there it is as you can see 5 inch blah 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 you've already heard this information from me only 5 gigs of 5.1 gigabyte storage that's actually available to the user stupid ad that's gonna pop up uh, gonna put the media all the way down these are the sounds from my grandma why does she turn off the system sounds I'm gonna turn those up so you can hear the little noises. No root access, obviously. Um, battery, which is fine. Actually pretty good in terms of voltage. Thermals, which you can also see here, just 30 degrees. It do when I did a thermal for a link test on this, it got up to 69 degrees maximum, which is pretty okay. That's cooler than the 80 degrees the S5 gets. But yeah, the S5 is like a monster in terms of heat. Like it gets super hot. This one does get pretty warm but it's nothing concerning it's just what samsung phones do you know no matter if it's it's no matter if it's a snapdragon chipset no matter no matter what to be honest i actually like the snapdragon 410 in here it's a pretty decent cpu with some pretty good gpu compatibility uh, with some pretty decent gpu uh, stuff in there it's much better than the than the 400 i mean it's much better than the 400 i mean put the snapdragon 400 on android 5 and it's gonna absolutely die it's super slow, like, it's not even a quad-core, it's a dual-core. Don't believe those ads, guys. If you have a G2 Mini laying around, it says quad-core on the box. The Snapdragon 400 is a dual-core. Even though it runs at the same speed as the 400, the same gigahertz, that doesn't mean that it's faster, because twice the cores is just much better. I mean, it could still be a dual-core in here. No, it's not. It's actually a true four-core, so that's great. Um, anyways, um, old Smart Manager logo, by the way, this one is really old, like, you can't even get the Corona Check app on here, and if you don't know what Corona Check is, it's a really important app, whoa, that was quick, it's a really important app that you need in the Netherlands, by the way, Snapdragon 410 can run, I think, Android 6, maybe 7, I don't know what the G3 has, I think it has Android 7, Corona Check is a really important app in the Netherlands, that you need in order to go to restaurants and stuff like that due to the stupid corona crisis. I mean, we're all sitting in a TikTok crisis, which is even worse. There you go. It's not even there. Only the only the fake things. And I tried an APK and it does not work, so it's too old for this Android version. You minimally need Android 6 to do, like, everything. But yeah, that has to be expected, man. I mean, at least it's not like iOS. iOS supports, supports like fucking nothing. Um, but yeah, pretty cool looking phone. Pretty decent, but it's just average. Crack screen. Um, fairly used sides. I probably want to get like a different case for this. Or just one of her original cases in general. I don't want to get the red one. I just want to get the oldest one that she has. Since it's made for this phone. So that I can actually use the headphone jack and stuff like that. Because there is a headphone jack. Um, so yeah, oh, it looks pretty cheap on the bottom. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Here's my Galaxy Grandpa. And I'm probably going to reset it. Yes, these are all photos taken by this phone and by my grandma. So yeah. Wait a minute. I don't think, I think it's actually downloaded. I think this one, this one, yeah, this one has been taken with this phone. Anyways, hope you all have a great day. See y'all later.